Hey everyone, it is me, Terry Black, the Well Sharer, and I wanted to share with you guys how you are guided in business and life. And when I tell you God checked me, God checked me because I said something, and when I said it, God was like, No, Terry, that is not what it is. So, what I said was, it's amazing that people don't really understand that God guides them outside of love and money. And God reminded me that I was that way too. I used to think that way because I was programmed to think that way. I, you know, we would bring things to God and we thought that's all he dealt with. And what God has taught me now is that he guides us in everything that we do, but what we do is we compartmentalize what we want to bring to God. So we'll say, God, can you bring me a man? And then we'll say, okay, God, when you bring me a man, then I have it, right? But that's not how it goes. Or we'll say, God, can you give me some money? <laughs> and we get the money and then we spend it foolishly and we go back and ask God again. And not realizing they're so your whole life, God's guides. And in terms of the well sharer, I help people understand their guidance in their business so they are connected to what God has for them in their plan to make sure that they are not taking the long roads and detours and moving away from what their purpose is in their business. But I really wanted to talk to you guys about life. Life, at the end of the day, will filter into your business or it will just filter into other things, right? So I'm meaning like your mindset about it and your thoughts about it and your understanding on what it is and how God works. And I'm so thankful to be in a space where I can share my journey and share what God is teaching me to help others be able to connect to him in a deeper way because that is my assignment. And my, God uses my assignment in many different ways um, in my business in my businesses, and then also personally outside of my businesses as well. So I want to share with you guys the areas where God helps you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys more details from my podcast. So after this, I'll jump on my podcast and I will detail and, you know, all the areas where God helps you. I'm going to list them here, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go into details on my podcast on how it actually touches my life and the stories that God has allowed me to understand of how he's a God of everything. He's not just a God of love. He's not just a God of money. He's just not a God, you know, just of, you know, sin removal and forgiveness. God is a God of all things. And I use my platform to help others be able to stop, pause and think, right? To become more conscious of our behaviors, of our words, our thoughts, our actions, because it all aligns to what is in our reality. So I always use the example. If your mindset is that you always feel broke and you always think that you're broke, then you always will speak that you're broke. And it'll be, you will feel broke. You will see it in your reality because your mind, you're not allowing your mind to understand that there are no limitations. You are setting your own ceilings within yourself. That is what you're doing because you haven't seen anyone in your immediate circle reach certain um, reach certain milestones. Or even if you see someone else reach certain milestones, what you're doing is comparing and beating yourself and not seeing your worth and you're not trying to go after goals. So in the Wall Share community, we are banging out these goals because we understand what it means to be led by God. And for those who are trying to seek how to be led by God, I'm going to do my part in showing you and telling you what it is that you need to be able to connect it to, to be able to listen and hear God's guidance. I, as you guys know, I am, it's no secret I can hear God in an audible way, as well as my holy angels. And because of that, I'm able to know what to do, what not to do, who to talk to, who not to talk to, when to, you know, cool it down, um, not to allow myself to get into a negative space. Um, God told me last week when I asked him about the word happiness, if that is a true state of being. And God told me absolutely yes, but it really boils down to what I allow to penetrate my happiness and how I'm able to dismiss things that are not of him in thought and in action. So 
There's so much, again, of God that we're still learning. Um, some people are further along in their journeys than others. But for those of us who are further along, it is our responsibility to share with others so they can be on that journey, on that path to be able to connect with God in a deeper way. And I'm going to do my part. So if you guys ever have any questions, feel free to always drop it in the comments. I will respond. Send me a DM. Send me an email. Um, go onto my website. Look around. See how I can help you. But my goal is to be able to bring more businesses to life and through those businesses that are coming to life to help others understand that God wants us to be able to have wealth on earth as well as in heaven. And through that, when we are having wealth on earth, we are setting ourselves up to experience great things and also creating generational wealth, not just for our children, but for our children's children. Okay, so. These are the areas that I'm going to get into on my podcast. I'm going to really break it down and tell you my own story, my own journey. But here are just the overall um, areas where God has told me that he wants me to share. Okay, so this is where God helps you, right? God is God of all things. He's not just a God of selective things that we choose to bring to God when we are in need. It is beyond that, okay? Um, and I'm going to answer your question after. Okay, so I just heard after. Okay, so these are the areas. It's not going to take me long, so just hang with me. So God helps us with spirituality, he helps us with health when it comes to eating and exercise. He helps us with business. He helps us with love, how to, who to marry, who not to date, um, those things of those nature, distractions. God will help redirect us to focus. Relationships, our friends, our acquaintances, understanding, which is discernment, family, children, sister, mother, father. God will help us with those relationships. Our children, for those who have children, God will help us how to navigate that space. And I will talk about my own two children um, on my podcast and God, how God is helping me to navigate them and helping them to build their own relationship with him without me being that nagging mom, which has been working. Thank you, God. Um, and I'll tell you guys, I'll see if God will let me share this particular thing that my daughter said to me. Um, and then God will help us with money and prosperity satisfaction, understanding that we are to be content with what we have. So when we are content, we're recognizing that it's gratitude that it is that God wants from us. He wants us to be grateful for what we have now, not just the things that we are desiring. Like it's not a, I will be happy when I get X. No, it's how are you happy with what, what you have today? How are you happy with your circumstances? How can you see the positive and see the abundance in what you have today? God will help us with the abundance piece, what I just mentioned, and also how to navigate conversations. So have you ever um, felt like you wanted to say something and you felt that pullback? Like you felt like you want to say it and it just won't come out? That's God. <laughs> That's God telling you don't say it because what happens is God helps us to navigate conversations because when we are hearing don't say that, it's to protect us from and the person involved from dealing with turmoil. So let's just say you are with your partner and they say something and you don't agree and you go to say something and you feel that pullback, like don't say that or you hear don't say that for those who can hear. That is God trying to help you navigate through the conversation to avoid an argument, okay? Or to avoid you getting your feelings hurt. God has done it with me and God has done it with people that I've helped be able to hear him. And I know for a fact that I'll be feeling that pullback. Like, Terry, don't say that. Or I hear, Terry, just leave it alone. Like, just let it go. And sometimes I do struggle with that, which I will go through um, in my podcast conversations and feeling the need. Matter of fact, I can, I can share that. Um, just the other day, and when you for, for those who've been with me for a minute, you know, when I pause, I'm listening for direction because I kind of like was waiting to see if I can say what I was going to say. So what it was that a few days ago, I received an email about my child and that he did something in school and I was just over it because I was already 
And I had already experienced a situation where I allowed that situation to deflate my, my happiness, right? God already told me, you can always be in a happy state. It's just how you handle what you hear from internally in our minds and then also externally through other people. So I was already in a funky mood and God was working me, working through me to help me get over it and to tell me, like, Terry, like you're missing the big picture in what you were told um, and recognizing what I was told was needed. And I, I get that now. But because it kind of like was boom, boom, I saw the email right after the situation happened and I said okay to the email, to the teacher. And then... I realized I was in my mood. I don't wanted to like, I was frustrated and I was over it. I was just like, and I started typing and I typed this response that wasn't nice. I guess it wasn't, I shouldn't say, I guess it wasn't nice. And I stopped to go and do something. And when I came back, I heard, do not send that email. And I was just like, <laughs> mad because I'm like, while I was writing the email, I was taking advantage of the fact that I wasn't hearing not to write it. So I was like, all right, cool. I got this, right? Which is the problem, right? The problem is that we think we got it and we don't. <laughs> that is part of the problem. We think we got it and we don't. So I started typing the email and again, recognize that I wasn't hearing anything because I was just like kind of pausing like, okay, I heard nothing. All right, Terry, go ahead. And then I heard don't send it. And I got mad and I threw the phone on the bed and I shouldn't have done that because I need to understand it was protection. So guess what happened the next day? The next day, the teacher sent me this wonderful email about my child and you know I was just so proud of him. And then I heard, see what happened. What God was preventing was me inflicting my personal um, discomfort that I was feeling on her because I didn't like what I was reading because of the moment I was reading it in. And what God was doing was saving me from myself and saving her from me. And then she sent me this wonderful email the next day and all is good. It's because I would have changed a conversation from that email. And that happens to us so many times. That happened to us in business and it happens to us in our personal life. Okay, so how... God answers our questions. That's the, you want to know how does God answer our question? All right, is that your question? How does God answer our question? So, okay, so I'm going to talk through how God speaks to us. So, you can hear audibly, and for those who can't hear audibly, then God will give you thoughts. You have to be, you have to become a conscious person to pay attention to the thoughts and not dismiss them. God will speak to you in feelings where you will feel it. People call it intuition. The just knowing God will speak to you through visions. Um, you will see a scenario situation. Um, but you really need to be able to have discernment to understand what you're seeing and to decipher what you're seeing, which is why um, hearing God is the best way. Um, and how do you hear God? You hear God by speaking to God, praying to God, asking God for forgiveness, repenting for things that you haven't done, asking God to show you what to do, asking God to reveal himself. I do help people be able to hear God. I do that outside of my business. You can visit my guided to listen page, um, but that's something I've been doing for over a year now. Yep, over a year now where I help people literally distinguish God's voice from their voice so they can have clarity and guidance and be able to not question what they're hearing. So a lot of times when God is telling us, let's just use the business world for example. God gave us idea um, about, God gave you an idea about um, business. I was supposed to change that around. God gives you an idea about starting a business and it, it was a thought, it was also a vision, and then you feel drawn to it. But because it seems you are allowing your circumstance of the feeling of whatever, like it's not, because it's not obtainable in your mind, you negate what you're seeing, not realizing that's how God speaks. So God will give you ideas for your business, okay? That's a fact. God has literally gave me ideas for businesses forever. Okay. Some things were my 
things that I wanted. And then God told me what he wanted. <laughs> okay. And I have free will to choose. And I chose to follow through on what God gave me. So the first business idea was me. Um, and it was something that I wanted to do. It was a thought. I was like, okay, you know, I tried it, but it wasn't connected to me. My second business idea, I later realized it was God literally pushing me and guiding me towards helping people with their mindset to be able to change their language and change their life. And I've been doing that since 2016. And when God gave me that business, it was Teespiration. It was a mug business where I was writing positive, inspirational sayings on mugs. And I was allowing the person, um, here is one actually. So um, Manifest Greatness is this cup. So it, they will see it because it's on both sides and it you will be pouring into yourself, right? As you are drinking, you're pouring, the words are just, you know, words are powerful. I'm, I must say that. Words are very powerful. And in the journey before I started the Teespirations mug business, which is this, God was teaching me that words was powerful. So God had was leading me to YouTube. God was leading me to books. God was leading me to understand like vibration and energy and, the, and words and how powerful words are. And it's in the Bible. It talks about how powerful our words are. So what the idea behind this business was as that person's drinking the coffee or tea, they're reading the words and they're pouring it into themselves, right? They're pouring positivity into themselves. And, you know, I sold a lot of the different mugs. I sold a lot of different mugs. And, but I had these goals that were not realistic. I did. I had goals of becoming a millionaire um, instantaneously. You know, it's just, it's one of those things where it's like people feel like because God gave them an idea, it means that they're automatically rich, right? It's like, then you get so focused on the money that you lose the vision. And that's exactly what happened. I was, I got, I became more focused on the money than the mission, the assignment behind helping people, my purpose. I know clearly now that it's my purpose. I do it outside the well share, in the well share. Everything I do is about servitude, serving God. Everything I do, everything I do. That's one of the, that's how I start my intentions for the day is I ask God for it to be of servitude. That's the first thing I say. So, because we are to serve God in everything that we do within and outside our business, because the words that we're using and how we're using those words with other people impact that person. So we're supposed to lead with love. We're supposed to love others. So we shouldn't ever say things to make someone else feel bad because we can't control ourselves. Or we shouldn't ever, you know, create a business just to make money and not think about the impact to the customer or the client. That is where a lot of people get lost. And that's where I'm trying my best to redirect the narrative behind owning a business. Owning a business is God having you to serve others so you can make other people happy. Okay. It is so important for you guys to understand that whatever business you have, it doesn't even matter what business you have, whether you are in the tech world, whether you are in candles, whether you have a t-shirt business, a mug business, a coach, a coaching business, whatever capacity, if you, you make you know, you have a water business, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, your product or service is to serve God. And through serving God, you're staying true to your purpose and being aligned to the plan that he has to make others happy. And through that, you will get your own happiness. It will come. So God taught me lessons and I'm so happy. I'm so happy to have walked away from Teespirations. I am so thankful that it wasn't in my mind back then to think that I can do it because now I have learned my lessons in what it is to feel worthy, in what it is to show up and be authentic in what I bring, in standing in my authority and being able to know that I'm guided. Like, I'm in a space where I don't have to figure anything out because God tells me everything to do. And for those who want to talk about free will, it is, I do have free will. I have free will to listen or not listen. But if I know that God's plan is the easiest plan because he designed it, he created it, he created me, 
He gave me everything I have. So if I know that, why would I not listen? Now, I'm not saying it won't come with challenges because God is going to test us. <laughs> He's going to test our faith. He's going to test how willing we are to talk about him out loud. He's going to test our journey and seeing if we're willing to actually continue to move forward with what he says. God is a bigger God than we understand. Bigger God. The scenario, is that the word? Yeah, okay. The scenario that God gives me to have other people understand his magnitude is when you look at the earth or you think about the earth and think about how big the earth is, God uses earth as his footstool. So when you think of yourself as a human being and you think of a footstool, now look at that proportion of you human being putting your foot on a footstool. Now think about how big God is in that scenario. Okay, and that's even beyond our imagination. Like we still can't phantom how big he is. So for me, I, I freely want God to guide me because in everything that I do, everything that I do, I manifest greatness in everything. Let me tell you all something. It wasn't until months later after I created Teespirations and I created all the different mugs and all the different sayings on the mugs that I realized that God had a message for me, that I realized it was my message, that I realized it was my story, that I realized that I was helping people change their mindset off of the things that God was telling me. So I had a few different ones, faith over everything. God was telling me, I have a cup, a mug that, and I still sell them today. God told me to have faith over everything. <laughs> I'm looking over there because I'm like, I really want to go and grab it. Um, okay. I'm trying to think of, I feel like I'm not going to find it because <laughs> I have other mugs. Okay. I was here in front, go and get it, but I'm, I'm going not to get it and that's fine. Okay. But I have a, I have a mug that says faith over everything. Okay. Faith and the dash and everything, faith over everything. And God was telling me in my business and life to have faith over everything. Boom, <laughs> right? And then the next mug was the manifest greatness, what I just talked about, which was to, that I can manifest greatness. Okay, I have it in black and I have it in pink. Okay, like I said, I still sell these. You can see it in my store. And another mug was that I live a perfect life, which was, you know, it's so funny because I remember thinking like when it came to me, like, oh, people are going to challenge that perfect life. And it's just like, no, like, I can live a perfect life. I'm not perfect, but I can try to live a, as much as a perfect life as possible. I can be kind to others. I can be loving to others. I can try my best to walk like how God walked. Like when Jesus was on earth, even though it's a big shoes to fill, I can try to do the same things. I may not be able to duplicate Jesus every step because you already know, right? That's a whole nother story. But I can still try to live life based on love, forgiveness, understanding that we are to like just pour love, like love. Like when it comes to Jesus, I just think love. I think sacrifice. I think being able to forgive, healing. Those are the things that we can do with our words and our thoughts and our actions. So, you know, I live a perfect life. That was a mug that God, um, the saying, a saying that God gave to me. Another saying was that we are God made, not self made. Okay. That was a message. That was actually one of my big sellers. I feel like I pretty much sold out of that one, like constantly. That was a big, big seller. Um, and then like some other sayings. So, um, I just am thankful to go through the challenges, because it's so interesting that we feel, we don't understand that challenges help us to be better. So as a business owner, we struggle, right? For year one, year two, sometimes year three, maybe year four, maybe year 10, right? 
there's going to always be a challenge to help us be bigger and better. And when we recognize, okay, this challenge is to help us be able to shift our perspective, to see how God is working through us and working for us, then we can look back and say, okay, God, now I see what I need to shift. Now I see how I need to change. Now I see what I need to speak. Now I see how I need to stand in authority. Now I see what you're doing. So when it comes to challenges in your life and your business, embrace the challenge and become more conscious to where you are hearing how God guides you. Let me tell y'all something. Hearing does come with challenges, okay? Because I hear on a grander scale than most, audibly. I hear 24-7. There's no off, <laughs> Right. There's no off. Someone said to me the other day that they want to hear like me. I'm like, no, you don't like you do. And you don't like you don't want to hear like me. You want to hear like yourself, because what God has for you is for you. And God, what has for me is for me. So you don't want to be like someone. You want what God has for you. That was the lesson for her. And also there's always a lesson for me in it. Right. I'm always learning something every day. God teaches me something every day. <laughs> If not every hour, I am learning something amazing. I was telling that to my mom yesterday. I was like, mom, like God taught me this, 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 this. And she's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she was like excited. And I'm just like, and then, cause I, you know, love to share. I love to share. I'm the well sharer. I'm sharing wealth of information. So people become more prosperous and abundant in their life. Okay. So God was just, you know, God teaches me something every hour. Okay. Like at, I'm learning something all the time. <laughs> I need y'all to understand that. And that's why I'm so thankful to be able to have a platform to share with others my journey to let you know, like you can have your journey with God too, to be able to hear. And I do teach people, like I said, I teach people how to hear. Um, guided to listen is my page. You can DM me on that page or DM me here if you want to learn. And what I do is I do do one-on-one -on -one sessions and it's just an exercise where you get the, like even with my clients, there are things I teach my clients how to do, but depending on where they are in their journey, they will get to the point of where they can hear clearly. It will be, it will happen, period, the end. I didn't, I didn't realize that was the journey until it started happening to my client, um, my clients, okay? Until I was like, oh, they can hear. Oh, okay. Then I started realizing, oh, God speaks to all of us, most of us, <laughs> not all. Because with that, yes, God will be silent to some people if they have a habit of ignoring him. I've witnessed it myself. And I was just like, what did you do? that God is not responding to you. So God will respond when he's ready to respond. And he did, but we had to go through the exercise of what in the world did you do to God? <laughs> like for real, like what did you do that he's not responding? Because God responds to me all the time. So, and I know that um, for the people that I've helped, I guess it depends on the person. God sometimes don't respond all the time because there's things that they need to actually acknowledge before they can get to the point of hearing. Um, yeah. So anyhow, God guides us in our businesses, in love, in relationships, in every, every, everything about you from your, the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, God helps you. Okay. And I just want more people to understand that because it is an amazing journey. It is a, amazing journey. So those things I just said to you guys about God guiding, this is all God telling me things to do for different compartments of my life. And God had me break it down like this. And I actually did this exercise with my mentees in my mentoring program. So, and that's my mentoring program that's free for youth that I have in Barbados um, right now before I expand it out globally. So I'm like, I'm telling you guys, like you can't tell me like, I know what I know, <laughs> but I also know what I know because other people are experiencing it, in it through me helping them or me helping them advance their relationship with God on a deeper level. So I'm telling you guys, God guides you in everything that you do from the moment you wake up um, to what you eat to sometimes what you wear and angels, right? God assigns us angels. I literally read it yesterday 
in Exodus 24, verse 20. <laughs> because when I read it, I already know I have my angels. I've known I have my angels for some time now. Um, and with that, God said, do not provoke your angels. And then I was just like, ooh, what does that mean? Because I'm like, ooh, did I provoke? Do I provoke y'all? <laughs> I was asking, like, because I have several angels. And I was asking them, and, you know, then I found some, um, they, they will tell me to go to Google <laughs> and look things up. And I found this massive, massive um, website that had this reading that talked about angels and God assigning angels to us. And that's how you get your help as well. So God helps you because he's the CEO of our lives. And then he assigns angels to you guys for you to be able to stay on course. And there's many times where God and your angels will speak to you and you won't listen because you think it's your own self. And whether you hear that whisper in your head or that thought, you don't recognize, you don't recognize it because guess what? No one told you. No one told you how God speaks to you. No one told you that God actually, like, legit, you can hear his voice. No one told you that. Like, I heard it in my early 20s, and I had a friend call me baby in Christ, and I was a little insulted. I was like, what you mean? I was, I was baby in Christ, but at the time I was insulted because I was just like, like, what are you talking about? Like, God is talking to people like, why don't I hear God? Like, I remember questioning that. Like, well, why doesn't God talk to me? Like, I want to be able to have a phone line straight to God, and now I do. God is my best, best friend. God is my therapist. God is my everything. God tells me what to do, what not to do. God tells me what to eat, what not to eat. I'm still, you know, have my moments where <laughs> I don't, I'm, I wasn't listening, but I'm doing my best to listen more now because it has helped me to be able to lose, um, like over 20 pounds. It has helped me to be able to feel good. God, when, you know, as soon as, if I, for any moment in the morning, start to judge my body, I will hear, stop being judgy. If it's God talking to me directly or one of my angels saying it, I will hear, don't judge your body. And my angels always tell, always tell me that they couldn't do it without God. So a lot of times when I'm receiving guidance, it's like, Terry, this is coming from God. We're just messengers. We're here to help you stay on course and be able to navigate life that based on the plan that God has for you. So I'm like, okay, I'm all in because let me tell y'all something. The launch of this business is one thing, but for God to help me launch my mentoring program in another country with eight mentees on my first nonprofit, my charity, I couldn't do that by myself. God told me who to talk to, who not to talk to. God, like literally, I... God had me write it out. And this is at the time um, where I didn't know it was coming from God. I just knew that I was just writing and it was coming to me. It was just like, okay, it was easy, right? I knew it was easy. Like I literally was able to write out the program for my nonprofit, the charity that I have in Barbados. I was able to write it out two years before it actually happened. Two years, three years, because the end of 2020, I started talking about a mentorship program. And I will post it on my personal page. Like, I'm going to have a mentoring program in Barbados. Watch and see. And I will say that. I don't even live there. <laughs> I'm from there, but I don't live there. But I knew it was going to happen. I didn't know how. I didn't know when, right? That's the thing. God doesn't always tell you timeline, but he will tell you it's going to happen, right? You just have to be, have the faith. So I had the faith knowing that I was going to help impact the, the island of Barbados by able to help children improve their mindset and have a positive mindset to know that they can have anything they want. And then in 2021, I started writing out the plan. And then in 2022, I started adding to the plan, but it was 20, I'm like, we're in 23. In 2022, God had me reaching out. I spoke at a school in one of the parishes I spoke, like I literally presented to a bunch of children and I was a speaker engaging them on mindset. I spoke to a principal at a college, like God had me making moves. God told me, okay, call this person, reach out to this person, say this, like literally verbatim, okay, verbatim. So then I ended up, God was like, tell your father about 
what you're trying to do because the end of 2021, God told me to start looking for different radio stations to get interviews on. And I remember I kind of started it, but I didn't start it at the same time, right? Kind of did it, kind of didn't, kind of did, kind of did it. And then when I had, um, so that happened like December that I was supposed to look for different radio stations to actually promote my mentorship program. And then I had um, like found where I need to go ahead and submit to become registered and all that stuff. And that was a long process. So then God told me to tell my father what I was trying to do on the island because he lives there. And then when I did that, God, my father was like, oh, I have somebody to speak you to speak to that he works on this, this, this. And I ended up reaching out to them, speaking to them. And they're like, okay, we're going to interview you. And I end up doing an interview and the interview ended up being a national <laughs> news outlet for the island. And everybody who was up that morning listening to the news saw me on the news station with me just thinking it was like a small like radio station. It was the news. It was like literally broadcast. So God told me what to do. And then like other things started happening. And lo and behold, now I have beautiful mentees who are in my program, who are learning the foundational principle about mindset and positive mindset and generosity and creating vision boards and all those. Cause that's what I do. I help people. I can help you create a vision board. I can help you navigate through your business ideas. Um, I do have a clarity call for people who want to start a business and God has given them so many ideas. They don't know what to do with it. So I'm helping you be able to strategize. So, um, I just need to call it a strategy call. So, but right now, if you go onto my website, you can book a clarity call and I'll help you be able to connect your ideas on and understand what it is that God wants you to do first, because God will give you many ideas. I have a whole book full of ideas. Okay. I have notes in my um, my phone with all the things that God wants me to do, okay? And what God has told me, Terry, everything is not for right now. There are some things that's for now and some things that's for later. So I help people navigate through that space because what I don't want you to do is sit on the idea that God gave you that can bring your family wealth. What I don't want you to do is sit on that idea thinking that you're not worthy enough to have it, not understanding how big our God is. And what I don't want you to do is miss out on an opportunity to change your family trajectory by a lot. Okay. And it's not about the money. It's about the purpose. Because essentially, when you fulfill your purpose, all those things of the world that we seek, they will come if that's what God wants for us. OK, and God does want us to be able to live life on earth, but he doesn't want us to get lost in the things that are on earth. There is a difference. OK, so if God told me to get rid of something because he wants me to follow my purpose, I'm going to be like, OK, God, I will, because that's what we're to do. There's a story about that in the Bible, too. Right. Jesus told the, 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 um, the king or someone to um, get rid of his things and follow him and he didn't want to do it. Right. So. The, the, listen, y'all, I actually am starting a Bible study group. Um, I already have five or six people that signed up on it. Um, it's once a month, just throwing that out there. Um, but, you know, I'm doing that because there's so much I'm learning through the Bible. God has had me reading the Bible consistently since last August. And when I tell you, I even said the other day, I was like, God, this Bible is juicy. <laughs> I was like, can I use the word juicy? He's like, yes, you can. Like it, the Bible is juicy. There's some things happening in the Bible. Um, and of course, there's always on a serious note, the, the lessons that we are to take from what we read in the Bible to uh, understand how God works and to understand um, the knowledge that we can apply in our own lives to live a righteous and um, fulfilled life through following God. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on that podcast for you guys. Again, I'm going to detail, um, I'm going to do it sometime today. I think I'm going to do it now, but maybe not. I'm, I'm going to wait and see what God is guiding me to do, if it's immediate right now or if it's a later situation. But I will be 
um, doing a podcast follow up on this topic, how you are guided in business and life. Um, and being guided means being guided by God. I promise you guys, I put my life on it. God is an amazing God and he helps us in the things that we allow him to help us in. We have to actually say, God, like, I want you to help us or help me. I want you to guide my path. I want you to order my steps. I want you to help me make good decisions. You have to be conscious to, of what he's telling you. And then when he tells it to you, listen. So a lot of times people will pray for things and God will deliver the answer. And then they don't listen. And then they say, God, why didn't you answer? And God says, I did. You just didn't like my answer. <laughs> you just didn't like the way I packaged it. You didn't like what I said. You didn't, you didn't appreciate what I gave you, right? Um, I feel like I'm sensing lifeboat, right? God will send you a lifeboat and you will say, oh, what is that? <laughs> it's not what I asked for. And he said, yeah, get on a lifeboat, right? So there's so much that, so much opportunities that we all have, myself included, right? Because I'm still learning and growing with God. I have been seeking God on a deeper level since 2015. I was before that. I've always been seeking God. I always loved God. I always wanted to talk with God. I always prayed. I always speak of God. I always was guided. You know, I always, all those things. But I became very intentional about becoming a conscious person so I can become more attuned to the frequency of God where I can hear on God's frequency. So um, we are all spiritual beings. I used to say that like years ago, like back in 2015, 2016, I was like, oh, we're all spiritual beings, right? We're everything spiritual. And then I started really experiencing, I was like, whoa, <laughs> we really are spiritual. We really, we are really spiritual, um, really and truly. And too many people are unaware of um, and unconscious to what it is that God is doing within our lives to help us be able to speak more positive, to be able to love others, to be able to serve and use our testimonies of positive things to help others and not to gossip and not to talk about others in a mean way and recognize that every thought you say, God hears. I hope I said that loud enough. There is nothing that you say or do that bypasses God. So if I was y'all, I would start saying, God, I'm sorry, <laughs> and really ask God to guide you so you can do and have better, um, a better life. So guys, everyone, I pray that you learn discernment. I pray that God helps you, and I pray that you can hear his voice, because a beautiful voice it is. There are times where... I'll say God's voice and then I'll, I'm like, oh my gosh, like God's talking to me. Like it's God, <laughs> really and truly like, um, I heard spoil. I act spoil. Yes. With God, God spoils me. Listen, y'all, God be trying to spoil us and we be over here playing <laughs> for real. Like God tries to spoil us and we be taking that stuff for granted. But I pray that you ask God that you stop taking him for granted and you start to really see and experience who he is and how he operates so you can have the beautiful, amazing, happy, prosperous, abundant wealth and fulfilled life that you truly want deep inside, but you really have to do the work to get it because God will give it to you, but he's not just going to hand everything to you. You have to put in the work. So for my business owners out there who are sitting on ideas to expand their businesses because you are afraid of the next level. Remember that when he does give you a business idea, you're going to have to put in the work, but it becomes easier, keyword, easier when you allow yourself to be guided, whether that is through God telling you what to do, well, God's always going to tell you what to do. But when you allow others to help you in your journey and become open to those who can actually reach the next level and be open to paying for things because everything ain't free. All right, bye. Talk to y'all later.